and welcome to our Mathematics 6 video class. I am here to make your math lessons more easy and fun. At the end of this episode, we will be able to interpret and explain the grouping, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or the Chemdas rule. And perform two or more different operations on integers with or without exponents and grouping symbols. Let's answer first the following exercises. Identify the base and exponent of the following exponential notations. 5 to the 7th power. 5. The base is 5 and the exponent is 7. 9 cubed. Our base is 9 and the exponent is 3. And the last one is 8 squared. Our base is 8 and the exponent is 2. Alright kids, are you ready? Let's start! Give the value of the following exponential notation. Number 1, 5 squared. Yes, the answer is 25. Number 2, 2 to the 4th power. You are correct. The answer is 16. Number 3, 3 cubed. You're right. The answer is 27. Number 4, 4 cubed. Yes, the answer is 64. And the last one, number 5, 6 squared. Yes, the answer is 36. I have a question for you. Have you heard the acronym MDAS? What about CHANDAS? What does it mean? Today, we will be dealing on evaluating numbers using Jemdas rule. In a series of operations without grouping symbols and exponents, multiplication and division are performed first from left to right, followed by addition and subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right also. This is what we call MDAS rule or the multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's evaluate the following examples using MDAS rule. Our first example, simplify 5 plus 4 times 5 minus 9. Let's apply the MDAS rule. Remember that multiplication and division are performed first from left to right and followed by addition and subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right. In our example, we have three operations. First is addition, multiplication, and subtraction. The first thing we're going to do is to multiply. We have to multiply 4 and 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Now, 
we have 5 plus 20 minus 9. The next thing we do is to add 5 and 20. So 5 plus 20 equals 25. Now we have only one operation left, that is subtraction. We have now 25 minus 9. So 25 minus 9, our answer is 16. Second example. Simplify 25 minus 9 plus 28 divided by 4. We have three operations. We have subtraction, addition, and division. The first thing we have to do is to divide 28 and 4. And that will give you 7. Now we have 25 minus 9 plus 7. The division operation is now removed. Now, we have to subtract 25 minus 9 equals 16, then add 7, that will become 23. And our third example, simplify 56 divided by 7 times 3 plus 5 minus 9. As we can observe, all operations are present here in our example. So we have to divide first because division appears first from left. So let's divide 56 divided by 7. And that will give you an 8. Then we have now 8 times 3 plus 5 minus 9. Second thing, we have to multiply 8 and 3. Now we have 8 times 3 equals 24 plus 5 minus 9. Then followed by addition, 24 plus 5 equals... 29. Now we have 29 minus 9 and finally subtract. So 29 minus 9, our answer is 20. On the other hand, a series of operations may also involve grouping symbols and exponents. In solving series of operations, the following rules can be used. Rule number one, simplify the operations inside the grouping symbol first. Grouping symbols are always done from the innermost set outward. Rule number two, evaluate exponential notation. Rule number three, multiply in the order they appear from left to right. Lastly, rule number four, add and subtract in the order they appear from left to right. This is what we now call the Chandas rule or the grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's simplify the following examples using Chemdas rule. Example, simplify 5 times 8 divided by 15 minus 10 minus 6 divided by 3. Remember to apply the Chemdas rule. In rule number 1, simplify the operations inside the grouping symbol first. In our example, 15 and 10 is in the parentheses, so we have to perform it first. 15 minus 10 is equal to 
5. We now have 5 times 8 divided by 5 minus 6 divided by 3. Next, multiply 5 and 8. So we will get 40. Now we have 40 divided by 5 minus 6 divided by 3. After multiplication, division will follow. So we have to divide 40 divided by 5 and 6 divided by 3. So we have 8 and 2. And finally, perform the last operation which is the subtraction. 8 minus 2, our answer is 6. Another example. Simplify 9 plus 3 times 15 minus 3 plus 24 minus 36 divided by 9. 15 minus 3 is the innermost inside the groupings. So, this is the first thing we should do. 15 minus 3. That will give us 12. Now we have 9 plus 3 times 12 plus 24 minus 36 divided by 9. Next, we have to multiply 3 and 12 because 12 is still in the parentheses. So 3 times 12 equals 36. Now we have 9 plus 36 plus 24 minus 36 divided by 9. Then 36 and 24 is the outward part of the groupings. So we have to add 36 plus 24 equals 60. So 9 plus 60 minus 36 divided by 9. Next, we have to divide the 9 by 36. So 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. Next, we have to add 60 and 9. So 9 plus 60 equals 69, then we have to rewrite minus 4. And finally, subtract. 69 minus 4 is equal to 65. Our last example. Simplify 14 minus 3 plus 1 times 3 cubed divided by 5. Simplify first the expression with exponent. We have 3 cubed. 3 cubed is equal to 27. After that, multiply the expression inside the parentheses. We have to multiply 1 times 27. After that, add the expression inside the parentheses. We have to add 3 plus 27. And divide 30 and 5. So 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. And perform the last operation, subtraction. 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. Yay! I believe that through our lesson, you will now able to simplify numbers using MDAS and GEMDAS rule. That's all for today. Again, this is Teacher June, making your math easy and fun. See you on our next episode.